according to some reporting, this guy who, from my vantage point, is nothing but a white supremacist, murderous truant, may actually have a good legal defense against six criminal counts, including a double homicide, by claiming self-defense, even though anybody with an ounce of kindness and common sense would tell you that he had zero business traveling to Wisconsin as a self-appointed vigilante protector of the Kenosha police, then dealing with protests on account of the killing of a black man. However, in a bit of a deadly turn of racial irony, this idiot took it upon himself to shoot at not one, but three white males, killing two of them. So that although his lawyers will claim self-defense, the prosecution will try to convince the jury that he himself created an extremely dangerous situation by showing up in Kenosha with an automatic rifle, thereby forfeiting any claims of self-defense. And I'll tell you, in keeping with my policy that I don't necessarily do unbiased astrology, my bias here is to hope that this murderous dumbass is convicted and thrown in the slammer for a good long while because his criminally unwise vigilante behavior is precisely how you damage and ultimately destroy the social fabric and society itself. Even if treasonous racists like Donald Trump, Tucker Carlson and Ann Coulter have defended his indefensible actions. I so wish I had a birth time on this one to really hone in on his chances, but gauging from his day of birth, there is at minimum one planet due to be conjoined by Pluto over the next two years, Mercury. His Uranus to Venus Mars square will be pressured by Saturn next year when it makes its way into the later degrees of Aquarius and transiting Neptune is moving into a square to natal Saturn. And there is some chance he is born from midday onward, which would then drag his moon into the same Pluto pressure as his Mercury. And here is where I will tell you, this is not the astrological landscape I would want for myself if I were facing multiple criminal counts, including two of homicide. Because there is plenty of planetary pressure here to correlate with a stiff jail sentence, which as far as I'm concerned, would be the best and most just outcome. Republicans are always accusing Democrats of wanting to take away their guns, when in fact, the truth is Democrats are interested in reasonable gun safety and control, and to my mind, this is a very clear example of something that should never happen. But it does, because there are so many deadly weapons floating around, supposedly for self-defense, but in reality making it easy for a stupid punk like this to engage in senseless murder.